What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and today I just want to do a documentary review of uh, something that I stumbled upon on Amazon Prime. I'm not sure if this particular documentary is on any other streaming platform. Uh, I haven't tried or checked Netflix or Hulu or anything else but I happened to stumble upon, up, upon it um, on Amazon, Amazon Prime and uh, it's an excellent documentary. I was like, I gotta let people know about this particular documentary. If you have not seen it, it is called Return to Earth. And it's um, a documentary for my mountain bikers. It's about mountain biking, but everything about it is really, really cool. It's, it's really, really different. To me, what really sets it off is the narration. Uh, the guy who's narrating it, um, does a really good job with that from the editing from the cinematography from the photography from the the music that they added to the effects that they added like it's really 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 cool documentary it's not that long i think it's a total of maybe about 50 minutes 45 to 50 minutes long but it really goes into uh it it, it just goes into some beautiful landscapes and shows uh why we got into this sport if you if you are a mountain bike rider and um you know i must say that i don't want to you know give out spoilers or anything on there but the most impressive thing is is, is to show you the dedication and skill level that a lot of these guys have doing this sport it really makes me wish i would have gotten into this earlier in my life i wish um you know when i was in middle school or even high school i wish i would have known about it but I'm I'm really late to the sport. I didn't get into mountain bike. Actually, I didn't even find out about mountain biking, you know, as far as like trails and stuff are concerned until my late 30s. Um, I've seen mountain bikes, but of course I've just seen them on the road and in the street. I've never seen anyone actually on a mountain bike trail until I got older. But of course at that back then, you know, I was doing a lot of running anyway. So it really probably wasn't a sport that I was looking for. Um, I said this on other videos, but I'll just say it because I, I do have more newer subscribers and uh, I kind of transitioned into cycling from running. I've been running. Um, I think I started running at the age of 13 and, uh, you know, I've been running pretty much all my life for, for over 30 years. Ran track in high school, ran track in college for a little while. And then even after I graduated college. I just started doing a lot of road races from 5Ks to 10Ks to half marathons to marathons to the mud, the mud runners. I mean, um, the tough mudders and all of those things I've 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 done. And so, um, but over time, you know, running for 30 years and being a long distance runner, a lot of wear and tear on my knees and legs. And so I transitioned into cycling first. I actually wanted to go into road bike. Uh, cycling first and then once I started doing that I just didn't really want to get into it because I didn't feel safe on the road and I know a lot of people are going to object to that but uh, I, I've i tried it and it's just to me you know I don't trust people's driving enough to be on a bike on the side of a road um, yeah it just wasn't for me uh, but then when I got into mountain biking I realized that I fell in love with the sport and one of the main reasons why I fell in love with the sport is because of what you actually see on this documentary return to earth which is getting back to nature being in nature there's some shots and, and scenes in that particular documentary where they actually talk about you know getting off the grid for seven to eight days not being around your cell phone just being in the woods or being on a mountain or going down a mountain or going down a hill and, or wherever the case you may be but it just shows a lot of landscapes from all over the world. And it, it's just amazing. It, it's an amazing, well put together documentary. I will say this though, um, the thing about it, because I just want, you know, I, I started this channel with mountain biking, so I wanted to kind of let people know about it. If you can stream it, even if you have to pay for it separately, rent this documentary. The really cool thing about it is, it's funny, after I watched it, I was just in absolute amazement. And but after I watched it, the only complaint I had was I felt as though they showed all the shots that just were perfect. There was like no crashes, no falls, no slips, no nothing. And then I'm thinking in my mind, as soon as it went over, the, as soon as it was over, I, I said to myself, you know, 
I just wish they would have made it more real to actually show people, you know, messing up. Because there's no way in the world everyone would have landed everything perfect every single time. And after it was over, they do like the blooper clips and they show the falls. And, and that's when I was like, okay, so yeah, now it's, now to me it's a 10 out of 10 because they showed that other side that, hey, realistically, everything's not going to go as planned when you mountain bike. I don't care how good you are. You can still fall. You can still slip. You can still crash or whatever the case may be. So they actually did show that at the end. The more amazing part, though, is the kids. There's a scene in there where they actually show these kids and they're actually at Whistler. And um, you can tell these kids, like, I guess Whistler is like their back. It's in their backyard, like their playground. They, they know it very, very well. But when they're just shooting down that thing with no problem and no fear, and these are like, I don't know, 11 to 13 year olds, it's just absolutely amazing seeing these these kids out here uh, doing their thing, man, showing their talent, and I'm I'm all for it. So I'm going to promote this movie to all everyone that I know that mountain bikes. If I can get the word out there to watch this thing, definitely watch it and I almost missed it because there was another documentary I was watching about some other sports and it had mountain bike in it too but it was it was about mountain biking and it was about skiing it was about uh, water sports and everything else but this particular one um, was just specifically about mountain biking and so uh, I thought it was the same thing I thought it was the exact same particular documentary and so I almost skipped over it because I thought I've already watched it. But then I just clicked on it just to see. And sure enough, this was a completely different documentary. So um, definitely check this out. Um, as far as me, I'm doing well. I hope everyone else is doing well. Uh, as far as mountain biking goes, um, I've, I've kind of slowed up on the videos with that just because it is just too hot. It's just too humid here in Florida right now. August and September are usually the hottest month, so I seriously doubt if I'm going to be able to get any footage anytime soon um, with mountain bikes. I just got to wait till it cools down a little bit. I went back to um, I went back to Alafaya Trail to do a part two video, and I forgot my memory card. And that that trip was like an hour and a half trip from Orlando, almost two hours. And so I, I was so upset. I got all the way there, had all of my equipment, and forgot my memory card for the camera. And there was no other store that sold memory cards anywhere nearby. So I wasn't able to get that footage, but actually I'm glad I didn't. Because I got dehydrated on the trail and literally almost passed out. This was, out of my year and a half, it was the first time I actually got chills out, out on the trail in the middle of the day. And uh, I drank a lot of water. I've never got that dehydrated, never never had that type of scare before, but um, it let me know, you know, you got to be careful out here in this heat because it's a, it's a different type of heat. It may say 93, 94, but with the humidity, it could be 105 to 110 degrees and it just zaps the life out of you, you know, after about 30 minutes of riding. I don't care how good you are. It, it takes a lot out of your body. And so, uh, so I'm kind of um, chilling out on that for a little bit. But I do have some other reviews that I wanted to do on some um, more beach equipment. I tried to, I uh, got a couple of more beach canopies and, and tents that I want to review. Uh, there's one that I tried three times to actually review and it just never works out. But I'll get into that when I actually do the review on that one. Um, I do want to go and do a video about um, bikes bike stores like where are the bikes bikes are selling out everywhere right now so i'm going to do a video on that soon but i got to hit like multiple stores so it's going to take a while to get that video together but i'm working on that and i also got to do um, an update to the tacoma i had to upgrade the uh, speakers in the front because uh the amp the jl audio amp was overpowering the speakers and kept blowing them out so i finally upgraded to a very nice amount see here we go it's getting ready to storm um the upgrade is getting ready to come soon so i'll do an up upgrade review on that another than that guys you guys take care be safe out here i'll check you out in the next video peace